you're in a sci-fi movie and you're standing in a new world where you are hiding yourself watching all this UFO fly over. So basically, it's a base of the landing. We are starting off with a screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are moving straight into painting the sky. So here, it kind of looked like a little bit of a darker of green shades to the lighter followed up by a tint of lighter green on the end, making it look like not an Earth, but absolutely another universe. But of course, I think if there is Aurora or so, they'll definitely have this type of shade around the gloom, but we are just imagining is a sci-fi movie and there's a UFOs around I think there was a lot of people who are interested in all these extraterrestrial beings and so and if you're someone who is a sci-fi fan definitely comment down below I do have watched few of the sci-fi movie but um, I won't consider myself as a fan because I get scared easily what if it really happened in our real life and what if they start invading us no 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 already we are invaded by human being that is an of us uh, so we have already done blending using our blunting brush and then we're moving on to the most easy step that is to paint the mountain we are using fountain pen and we are using our free hand to draw and then fill bucket to fill it once we are done with the mountain we are using our favorite dry ink brush to illustrate the tree this is very simple and have added a new layer if you check on the right side I'm drawing a vertical line and then I'm just going to do this stroke from uh, uh, inward to outward and we are just making sure the higher the density at the end and the tiny bit on the top making it look like a tree and then the rest is copy and paste you just have to copy paste in any way or format you are wanting because I really wanted to go in a way the mountain looks like so the main hint is definitely not this we do have our ufo which is going to be our show topper but these are all the elements which will bring the entire illustration to life like i was saying if you are a sci-fi fanatic which movie is your favorite if you have anything recommendation for me you can definitely rather than watching i will read the entire plot before watching because that's how i am because i'm very scared being of all this thing because i feel like what if they really invade us no this is not going to happen so yeah sci-fi is really fantastic at the way it is because I actually go deeper into the thought of what a writer has to come up with, how a director has to produce in their own way and the rest. And now I have added a new layer to the, the earth. So earth is consists of 70% of water. So this is actually does not look like an earth because we need to have a lot of, lot of a darker shades of blue and the rest. But I make it look like an earth. Okay. Uh, imagine that as another planet. You are not going to draw exactly earth, earth, but just a hint of earth here. So I went ahead and added few shades of green and blue and turquoise and then with the help of wash brush I'm going to slowly blend it across and then once we are done blending this out I'm just going to use cashmere eraser to erase the edge and also slightly uh, one fourth of the earth itself to make it look like it is an erosion and half of the one fourth of the earth is in a night time and so. Of course, the majority of this illustration is in 4x speed, so make sure to use your speed time. Don't be in a hurry. For me, the entire illustration come across in half an hour. It is 30 minutes, but for you, if you are a pro, you may finish it early. If you are starting out, please take your sweet time. Also, I do understand there is a lot of requests from my uh, supporters to draw some certain illustration. It is definitely in the pipeline. I want you to hold on for a few more days and I'll definitely finish illustrating and share it with you. Once we are done erasing one fourth of the earth to make it look like it is in a rotation and it's night, we are just going to reduce the size of it and place it in the center. So once we are done aligning is I'm going to add a new layer for our UFO and I'm going to use the help of level to make it illustrated in a semicircle. Of course you can use the semicircle but at the same time just I felt like using a free hand is much better for me. So there is a two a bit of this UFO. One is the top, one is the bottom and of course you can draw this in any color since this was a illustration done in Pinterest by someone. Of course they have done so much beautiful. I just thought this idea is cool enough to draw it in digital and share it with my uh, supporters and my families and once we are done we are just going to add few more lighter shade and then slowly blend it across and once we are done with this i'm going to adjust the size of it because this felt like a little wobbly for me so i'm just going to stretch it out at the outside and making it squish in the middle to make it more like a ufo of course if you look at majority of you if it's just like one semicircle one oval disc and then you have few of the lights around but this was interesting hope you guys are also enjoying the illustration so far 
we are done with the base color so i'm just going to use flow airbrush to add the shadow at the base of the ufo to make it look like that's their uh, engine base or somewhere they get out from so i'm using a glow neon pen to add those little glow glowy lights at the bottom of the ufo and then i'm just going to align it and then i'm going to use flow airbrush to add those shadow of orange around the edge and then with the help of a wash brush i'm just going to slowly blend it across to make it look like even and i'm not trying to bring it more in a realistic way just like in any other illustration i'm just going to make sure it does not have any rough edges and the rest once we are done if you look on the right side it's a different layer i didn't make this slide in the existing layer so what i've done i'm just slowly adjusting to it along the way and once then i'm just going to merge both the layer and then i'm just going to make as one layer and then make the rest of the adjustment if you have enjoyed this illustration like a thumbs up and if you're looking forward for any illustrations from this channel comment down below what should i illustrate next of course there are a lot of things in the pipeline it may take little longer than expected so considering that please if you have any suggestion please go ahead and leave a comment down below so i am trying to make as many adjustments as i can before i merge the layer i'm adding few more shadows here and there and then i'm going to add a highlight to the ufo on the top and once that is done i'm going to merge across and make it as one layer if you are new here please make sure to click the subscribe button below because this is a community where we learn where we share where we grow together and also if you have not here of my newsletter which is a free newsletter from my inbox to your inbox every saturday where i share all the things i have learned in the week and what we are taking forward for the upcoming week to tackle and become the best version of yourself and also for my existing subscribers thank you very much for each and every one of your support it really means a lot to me because you have no idea how little your support uh, how how little your support is the biggest uh, inspiration for me to wake up every single day and post whatever i'm doing and it kind of bring a joy into me and once we are done with this i just copy and pasted the rest and then i'm going to use pickle to add the star in the sky and then once done i'm just going to use glow pen to add those little more brighter star and we are almost done with the illustration hope you guys have enjoyed the illustration make sure to like share and subscribe if you have not yet listened to our podcast of this week where we talk about how to master the art of starting over if you are someone who wants to do something for a long time and if you have not then you should definitely go ahead and give a listen to the podcast where i talk in depth on the strategy and the benefit till then i'll see you all tomorrow have a great life enjoy yourself life is too short to think so illustrate every day and make something illustrating worth thank you very much bye bye